Well, if you can't trust the data, you can't trust the analytics, right? So in the old days, we used to talk about garbage in, garbage out, right? And that was when we were trying to master the art of data warehousing and data marts and all these things. And the one thing we got right in all that process is we had to understand that the sources of information we were putting in were trusted. And I think the same holds true for analytics. So it's kind of like we've seen this before. If the sources of information we're putting into the analytics are good, so good curated data sources, or if they're questionable, we're able to score them or tag them as such so that we understand the, uh, the output in the analytic, we have a much richer and much more uh, credible uh, analytics. We see a lot of dangers when people rely directly on the dashboard or the visualization. The first danger that comes to mind is not everyone is skilled to actually create these dashboards. So we talked about on stage for years, others have talked about it, analytics for everyone, but we've now started to appreciate there's these unlicensed drivers. And if we give these unlicensed drivers these tools, how can we trust what comes out of it? You need to know that if you are looking at a dashboard, um, do you have confidence as a business um, a business uh, leader in the organization, do you have confidence that that data, that dashboard, is actually giving you a true reflection of what's really happening? Then we have the folks that we think are licensed, but they may still be applying the wrong method to the wrong analytical use case, and you can get, again, the wrong result, but here we now have a trust issue where we think the person is skilled enough to do it, we're gonna trust them because we know who the author was, but they actually weren't doing it accurately. Um, and that really leads in nicely to the third one, which is around challenging bias. Um, and a lot of people bring their own biases to their analytics or their, or their visualizations. And the reason they do this is, is, and probably the best analogy I like to draw is back to the science project, right? A lot of us in school, when we were first trained in terms of how to do experimentation, what were you trained to do? Develop your problem statement, your question, and bring your hypothesis in terms of what you think the answer is and then start testing your hypothesis. As soon as you bring your own hypothesis, you're bringing bias in. And you end up in these situations where you end up hearing what it is you want to hear, you or your organization, versus what you or your organization needs to hear.